first one with 150 second one passed with 85 if that's not good i don't know who it is because y'all y'all ain't gonna y'all have nothing to tell me hi hi guys welcome back to my channel like y'all want to know what the smile is all about i passed my nclex yeah 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 come sorry down buksu 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 ah i don't even know where to begin because this journey wow deva it's been hard like i i'm actually still just my clothes i just took my exams like today well whenever this video is gonna be posted it's not gonna be today anymore but i'm just gonna have a chit chat you know like from a second time test taker to like maybe someone out there that is still trying to take their exam again or they don't know where to begin or they don't even know where they're at girl boy i got you friend i understand like wow if somebody told me i'll be on the other side I would say you're probably lying or I'd be like, oh my gosh, like, you know when they always tell you that when you're going through something, the people are like, oh yeah, but you, you'll be okay, or like, there's like, there's a reason for everything, or like, there's a brighter side, eventually you'll pass, all this is temporary, like, when you're going through, that's not really what you want to hear, but when you're out of the situation, you're like, oh, okay, now it makes sense. Technically, that's what I was feeling, like, people were giving me advice, advice, advice advice left center right they're telling me i was gonna be okay they're telling me it'll be fine and there were days i kid you not i was depressed down bad depressed so let me start this story from my own experience and then like what worked for me and what didn't work for me and i'll just like share that so um backstory i had my placement in ottawa in february because my school had the option to do like out of town placement so back in when i was there it was for six weeks that was in february i was like oh since i'm out of town i can probably like because i don't really know anyone in ottawa and i was like oh i'll use the opportunity to study right like less distraction like the only thing i have to do is do my placement and then come back girl child I don't even know why I thought that was possible because firstly I didn't even know the city I was new to the city or whatever and I had to be studying when I go to the hospital and come back and my preceptor had like a lot of night shifts and it was only 12 hours like I've never had a lot of preceptors that have like 8 hour shifts always 12 I felt like that was getting me ready for my now job which get into another time but yeah so I was studying like studying February and i remember i was trying to like find out what to use like does archer there was u world u world was my f initial like plan but then i watched tiktoks and like some youtubes and they're like oh archer is way better and i was like oh okay maybe archer then back in nursing school we used um nurse achieve which i did not really like so i was like eh so i ditched that it worked for people but for me it didn't because i don't know their explanation was just very I don't like wasn't for me right so i got nurse archer review and that's what i was using archer review archer review i would study go to clinical come back study go to clinical study but i felt like i wasn't studying to like understand i felt like i was studying to cram and just to, to pass the exam so i wasn't really like understanding the key concepts so fast forward fast forward fast forward I would like literally I would study anywhere anywhere you found me I was studying ah girl I was studying everywhere like it was it was not even funny and then came um May which is when I said okay fine all right and the reason I chose May was because I had a concert and it was my husband which he doesn't know Jackson Wang okay yeah so he there was a concert here in May and I was here either way so I was like oh while I'm here, I might as well like pay for my exams and wait for my ATT, my authorization to test. And while waiting for that, it would be lovely, right? Perfect. I'm in Toronto. Get the ATT right. Kill two birds, one stone. That's what I thought at the time. Okay. 
literally it's friday well it was thursday and i still haven't received my ATT. friday comes i'm like you know what i'm booking my friday today because i have to go see my family i was like monday is the last day like i'm not giving this piercing people any more time friday morning friday after the morning i don't remember bam i received my att and i remember at the, t at the time i was on the phone call with my friend and i had to tell her that i'm gonna call her back because i started bawling like i was crying because i was really like stressed out because i've been waiting i'm like here i am Toronto. i'm like i had all these plans i was like this workout this work like i had plans and i was telling god what i wanted which side note don't do so i was like oh things are gonna work out for me because i'm here like it makes sense that it work out that way but yeah i got the att i was trembling i went on my knees i was praying and then i scheduled those one for saturday because i don't know friday there's one for saturday and then there's another one for monday and i was tra i was meant to travel on tuesday so i was like okay fine i'll do it on monday the day before i travel because you know i'm going to see my family so it's like a good transition monday comes I booked it early in the morning. First of all, I'm not an early bird. Y'all, I'm a night owl. That's what night shifts I like, even though they do my body dirty. But in the morning, one thing, you gotta know yourself. You gotta know your body. You gotta know like when your brain is most active. Cause the morning, that was my first mistake. I don't do well in the morning. Even like back in nursing school, like morning exams were never for me because I felt like I couldn't think just because I just woke up and my brain is like, what's happening? Why are we testing already? But the morning off, like the night off, I couldn't sleep every single hour I was awake because I was like scared. I was like, what if I'm not ready? Like, oh, everything seems working. Like this seems so good to be true. And I was like, oh, so the morning off, I got there it was everything was like weird of course i did not know what to expect right it's my first time taking an exam so i was like oh and i got there and jump scare cameras watching me like because when you get into the exam hall like before you get into like once you enter the door there's like a waiting room and you have to have your phone turned off and then it, when you go you, you hand in your id which was my passport you hand in your id and then they make sure it's you and then whenever you're ready to test they give you like this pamphlet with like instructions about the exam and all that they give you a key for a locker and then you have to put your phone put your blunders away and all that like procedures and before you go in there's like camera there's like every like all these procedures that's when i started psyching myself out because i did not expect all of that it was just like the fear of the unknown fine perfect checked in in the hall I was taking the exam, like immediately the exam started, my heart, I could literally feel it in my throat. My heart was banging. It was pounding. Like the anxiety was picking, but I was like, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I've done questions before, it should be fine. I was reading rationales, like I was doing what I heard other people did at work for them, right? So I was like, okay, it's gonna work for me, maybe. Like, and then I'm doing my questions because every time I practice with Archer, I got like very high chances of passing i think multiple more than four i got one borderline and one low like that was in the very beginning but like after that was like a very high chances of passing so i knew going to the exam that i passed right so normally my questions ended at 85 so i saw 86 wow i kid you not i lost it i literally lost my mind i was like 85 86 no it's supposed to be 85 not 86 and right there and then i felt i should have taken a break which going into like your exam like especially with nclex take your breaks when you feel your brain is tired take that break take it because sis bro ah your brain is gonna thank you later for taking that break i didn't take a break i kept on going and then i questioned 99 i think that's what yeah the laptop the desktop was like oh do you want to take a break now and i was like okay fine and that's when i took a break and i remember my break i was crying and i was praying to god i was like god this is not going away i feel like i feel like i already told myself i feel but little did i know that with every question that's your opportunity to pass right so i didn't really know that back then like now what i know i didn't know back then and i wish someone would have told me which is what i'm telling y'all you know being that you know little you know mentor for y'all because i wish i had that back then i i mean i watch youtube but it was not like the same because everybody's experience is different that's why i'm sharing my own experience so question 86 and i lost it and i, I remember i left that hall 
when I visited the hospital which I'm working at and I was like sat there called my friend and I was bawling my eyes because I just knew I had failed I knew it I was like I failed that's it for me that's it and yeah like next day I was traveling I remember I came back home that night, I cried, I called my friends, I called my family, I was just crying non-stop because I just, like, I felt like it was pain, it was like, it was like pain in the chest, like, I don't know how to explain it, it's not like some, it felt like a part of me had, I don't even know, like, the pain was excruciating, that's what I can tell y'all, and I went, I was traveling the, that next day, on Tuesday, and I remember I got the email from CNO, and I opened it right before my flight and they're like we're sorry to let you know you failed oh that's when I lost it I was like damn bro damn bro I cried and cried and that was the beginning of a journey of tears that was the beginning that was May 16 I'll never forget that day May 16 that's like one of the worst days of my life if I'm being honest and i called my auntie and i was like it's not going great i told her everything and she's trying to like calm me down and then i went to the airport like on the way to my the airport i messaged my friends and i was like yeah y'all out there i felt like a failure i just felt like everything i've been through nursing school and everything i've worked for had just gone down the drain and i got i was on the like at the airport i remember I cried. I screamed at the top of my lungs, and like it got people's attention. It wasn't like I didn't want to draw attention, but I was in pain. So obviously, people came. Like there was this one lady. I remember her. She was like, she said she was working as a cleaner at the time. She was like, I have been studying for my RPN, but here I am working as a cleaner. Just cause it's hard, right? And she was trying to like tell me it's okay. And then there was this other girl. I forget her name. I know her name, but I'm like I'm not sure it is, but yes uh where, wherever she is wherever she is god bless you she was one of the sweetest person I, i've met in a minute she like consoled me a lot i've never met her she was just transiting to it was her first time to canada she was going to bc to see her friend and she was from i think it's netherlands she was so nice i just felt very like like wow and then I go home because my mom didn't even know I was coming. I was surprising her and I call her. I'm like, hi mommy. And she's like, oh, she was so excited to see me. And I was like, yeah, I'm here. And immediately I saw her, I fell into her arms and I cried. And I was there for a week and a few days, every single day. Tears. Tears, 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 tears. Okay, fast forward. Now skip to what I did afterwards. It was hard to pick myself up, I was no lie. Like, I had severe anxiety from that. I had depression, I was just sad. I felt like a failure. I felt like nothing was working for me. I had a job, mind you, but I was like, I don't want to lose that job. And I felt like, because there's this thing I say, war, not all battles are won by warriors. Like, warriors don't win all battles. And I felt like that was one of the battles I lost because I had told God when I wanted it, but God was like, probably that's not the time for you and yeah and i remember i was like i don't even know how i'm gonna pick myself up my mom my family my sister my auntie like friend they were very like supportive but at the end of the day it came down to me right it comes down to your mind it comes down to like if you're willing to fight for yourself and push because you can have all that support but if you're not willing to fight there's no point eh so i was like you know what it's not over until it's over so i kept on trying and I still use Archer, but then I was like, I wanted U World, but at the same time, I didn't want to pay for U World because U World is expensive. So I I told this story already in my previous video, but there was this one friend that was not a friend, like we started a job together, and she was saying she has her NCLEX, and she was talking about U World, and she barely used the questions, and I was like, girl, when you pass, I want your question bank, please. And I remember I prayed for her, she passed, and the question bank became mine so using that question bank i as well started using simple nursing because i realized that on my first attempt i didn't really understand concepts like i understood but not understood you know what i mean so i had to use simple nursing simple nursing chef's kiss chef's kiss he helped me understand gi and like all of it a respiratory like 
TB meds, like all this stuff that he like gives you the good to know, like the need to know, not the good to know, sorry, the need to know, right? And things that the NCLEX will always ask, like it doesn't change, like it's always the same thing, just in different formats and different sets. And then I also started using Dr. Z, Sean. Shout out to Dr. Z, because he helped me. Like Dr. Z, Sean, that man, I'll give you my coins. I used all his free resources and every Wednesday he had Zoom meetings, so I would join that. So that's what worked for me the second time around. And I have my exam today. Ended at 85. Fell the first one with 150. Second one passed with 85. If that's not good, I don't know who it is. Cause y'all, y'all ain't gonna y'all have nothing to tell me. But basically what I'm trying to say is like you guys can ask me questions like I really don't know how to do this video because I'm like, I feel like there's so much I want to talk about like what worked for me and like how I was able to carry myself out of the slumber to like, because this is now 15 minutes of me just talking. I'm like, but if you guys have questions, like, tell me. I just wanted to say like, God is good because without him, even today, I prayed before the exam. I was laying here before I left. I prayed. After the exam, I prayed, I go back home, I prayed. I've just been praying and thanking God because without him, I don't think I would have made it. And yes, if you have any like how to study, like if you have questions of how to study, like ask me because I have so much I want to spill, but I don't know like what people want to hear. So I just shared my experience, but this is how I passed in my second attempt with 85 after filling my first 150. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you all like this video about me rambling on and on about myself. But I hope you like, subscribe, sub subscribe, subscribe, comment, and share. But see you guys in my next video, which I don't know when it is. But bye.